Casey Gray here from The Conscious Builder, and on today's Construction Tech Nerd video, we are getting into the world's safest and most powerful wind turbine, hydrogen-powered cargo ships, augmented reality, and how it helps you find your keys or other things for that matter, and electric logging trucks. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you get all of the updates on all of our tech videos coming out so you stay up to date on all the emerging technology in the construction world. Now let's get into today's video. Starting with portable wind turbines could soon light up our city spaces. This is really cool stuff. Uh, Salt Lake City based startup. Halcyum is working on the power pod, a technology that is dubbed the safest and most powerful wind turbine in the world. That is a pretty big statement, really cool stuff. The power pod is cheaper than solar panels and more efficient in places that get less than 300 days of sun a year. Now, I don't know how many hours of sun that is per day, but this is something that could be very useful for where we live when solar panels get covered by snow, for example. Uh, this could be the one of the solutions to that. Uh, the one kilowatt portable wind turbine creates three times more power than the equivalent regular wind turbine. Uh, it increases wind speed by 40%, Hodges says. So it's safe for public spaces as there's no external moving parts and the circular blade is held inside a plastic enclosure. The power power can capture wind from multiple directions as well. So really cool stuff. Um, this would be amazing for a place that has a flat roof, for example. Uh, the installation of solar panels becomes more expensive on a flat roof because you get into a, a, a larger racking system. So this is something that would solve that. Uh, if you do have snow that builds up on a, that flat roof, you can maybe put it up on a pole. I don't know how the installation works. I don't really know the exact size of these units either and how many you'd have to throw up on a roof. But this is technology that is heading in the right direction and it's getting us closer and closer to being off grid or having each home have its its own power supply. Maybe you can share it all. Maybe you have communities that in, instead of being connected into the grid, you have houses that are all producing power that then put it into a central location and shared, right? This is this is where I'm thinking it's not just everyone for themselves. It's still people working together, uh, communities working together, but you end up being in a hub instead of trying to transfer that power for kilometers or miles and miles away. So really cool stuff that's happening there. We'll share that link down below. You can check it out. Next, we'll get into the world's first hydrogen powered cargo vessel. A French company is developing the world's first hydrogen-powered cargo transport vessel, which is scheduled to make its debut sometime later this year. The vessel is designed for inland water routes only and is not designed to sail on oceans. So that doesn't really help where my mind is going uh, in terms of shipping things overseas. However, once again, this is heading in the right direction. There always has to be a starting point, and here is a starting point for this particular thing. We order, for example, Windows from overseas, right? Because they have a lot of high-end products that we'll use, Windows being one of them. Uh, this would solve some of the things that I think about, for example, which is the carbon footprint of having that product being shipped overseas versus buying something local. Obviously, we always want to stick to local or as local as possible. However, sometimes it's just not possible with regards to the product. If it's a product that doesn't perform as good, well, we have to go overseas sometimes. Most ships run on bunker fuel, which emits even more carbon dioxide and is fine and fine carbon particles than burning refined fuel. Overall, they're the second largest contributor to climate change. So this is what I'm talking about when we're ordering stuff overseas. This is stuff that we're thinking about. We've got to think about the carbon footprint, right? Because we're all on the same planet, right? We're all in this together and we need to be working together as a global. I always think it's going to be, especially with going to Mars now, for example, uh, it's not going to be necessarily countries, but it's going to be planet Earth and like planet Mars, right? But anyways, we'll get into that stuff in, <laughs> in later videos. Uh, so once again, moving in the right direction. Now this, this is not necessarily new technology. It's just kind of getting better. Samsung's new Smart Tag Plus uh, uses augmented reality to help you find your keys. The Smart Tag Plus uses Bluetooth and ultra wideband technology to locate items a tag is connected to, then with augmented reality technology uh, using phone cameras and smart things to find uh, or smart things find service on Galaxy devices will visually guide users to their lost items. 
So obviously in construction, we got a lot of keys. So this is helpful if you lose them. We lost keys actually to one of our trucks. One of the guys lost it on site. This would have come in useful. I don't know 100% if you need to be on a Wi-Fi network or how it works. I'm guessing you don't, right? That's what the tag's for. There are other products out there. For example, the Tile Gen 2. Uh, this is something that you can order on Amazon. Um, but imagine having these tags put onto your tools. You know, sometimes tools grow legs and they disappear off of construction sites, right? We had a whole dump trailer that was stolen uh, and we didn't realize it was stolen until a week later uh, because the guys had thought that I had picked it up and I came the following week and I'm like, where's the trailer guys? <laughs> but if we had a tag like this, it's kind of like a cheap insurance policy. We would have been able to find it. We could tell the cops where it is. Here it is. Uh, so put it on your bike. Your bike gets stolen. Nobody knows it's on there. You can find it. And there's actually videos out there of people doing that. They tag bikes. Uh, it would They kind of bait people into stealing it, but either way, why would you steal something? Uh, and they would go find it and be like, yeah, that's my bike. <laughs> so you can search those things. Um, but what's really cool about this is the augmented reality portion. Augmented reality is becoming used more and more every day. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it's it's used on Snapchat, right? You can go to some of those filters and as you move your phone around, you can have things that are embedded or look like they're there, but they're they're not, right? They're using augmented reality. You can get like little dancing characters and like it senses there's a table there and it'll look like through your phone that that thing's dancing on the table. So this is not new either, but once again, it's being used for things uh, in different ways. So technology grows exponentially. Keep that in mind. Uh, our brains usually think linear, in, linear uh, in a linear way. And lastly, what I wanna to touch on today is semi-electric trucks to power log hauling program in Canada. Love to see this. Tesla semi-electric trucks are going to power a log hauling pilot program in Canada that is aspiring to be the first zero emissions log trucking operation. The working forest captures carbon as it grows and wood products keep that carbon locked up for decades. New trees are planted and the renewable cycle repeats. So to explain what that means is that as trees grow, it captures carbon. You probably know that. Um, but what you might not realize is that when you build homes with wood, which we do here in Canada, because we have an abundance of wood, it's actually a way of uh, to sequester carbon, right? So you chop that tree down, you do sustainable foresting, but you use that tree to build a house, that carbon stays in that wood. So that is a good thing. You plant more trees, they grow, they get more carbon out of the atmosphere. So this is something that we want to continuously do. And that's why we like to use wood where possible because it is a renewable resource. Uh, something like co uh, concrete uses, uh, adds to that carbon emission. So we want to reduce that. So this, however, when you're thinking of trees is that there is a lot of emissions that get reduced in taking the trees down and hauling them out. So if we can get electric trucks in there, which this company is doing to get rid of those trees, and that's reducing the carbon footprint. It's not making the trees work that much harder. They can focus on getting it out because of other pollutants. Uh, and right now there is no log hauling truck that can handle the conditions that's required. So really cool. Once again, technology going in the right direction. Uh, it's helping us, uh, technology used in the right way can really help us here on earth. And, uh, I just love seeing this sort of stuff. So hope you like this video. Uh, once again, this is coming out weekly, so be sure to subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notifications so you can stay up to date on all of the emerging technology. And until next time, remember to live consciously.